How's it going guys? It's 2014, new season, ready for tour. Uh, let's uh, take a look at what's in my bag. Let's start out with distance drivers. Carry one, two, three, and four destroyers. All star destroyers ranging from 170 to 171. Um, I carry four of them because they all do different things. This purple one right here is pretty new to my bag. It's a little bit understable than the rest of them. So I can throw this one high if I want to and still have it turn over and hold that and then glide, glide out at the end. Pick one right here, a little bit more stable than that one. I can throw the same kind of lines, even low ceilings. I think it just holds straight, almost like a T-bird, but it, in a destroyer form. Um, this yellow one's pretty similar to that last pink one. It's a little, a little more beat in, uh, so I can get this one to hold and just hold that flight a little longer. And then finally, my stable, really overstable destroyer. This one I throw in headwinds. Um, I like this one in my bag for especially when I'm in the Midwest, out there in Kansas and uh, Oklahoma, Texas. This thing's my workhorse in the wind. Next, let's go to some more distance drivers. The G Star crate. Two of them, it's my newest signature disc. Um, I'm really enjoying it, especially the G-Star plastic. It's a little softer, um, even though it's, you know, even when it's cold out, it's still got a little bit of flex, great grip, and an uh, extreme amount of glide. So these things, I carry two of them just in case I lose one. Um, they got real similar flights. But uh, what I like to compare them to is probably about a destroyer flight, or destroyer speed, almost, but like a almost like a sidewinder flight. So you can get this thing to fly straight, hold it, and get its tail a little bit a little bit to the right, and then finish left. And uh, But it's a really straight flight. It's my favorite controlled distance driver out there. Uh, so check these out, the G-Star crates. Next, let's go to fairway drivers. I carry four T-Birds, all ranging different stabilities. Um, the first one right here is my blue T-Bird. This is my overstable one. Um, I can trust it in the winds, or if I want to put a little bit more power on a T-Bird, uh, this is one I go to. It will never turn over for me. And just hold a straight line and then finish left at the end. Great, great T-Bird right here, especially this plastic. Brinster Birds, check them out. Next, I got two of the same, almost identical T-Birds right here. Same wear, just in case I lose one. You know, you always want to have a backup. Uh, they're both lighter weights, 169, 160, 167. Um, I like the lighter weight for my T-Bird because I can control it more. I don't have to put as much effort into it. And, you know, they really they really allow me to, you know, if I make a mistake, I know it's on me, not the disc. So it's really good for practice, and then especially those tournament shots where you have to be on point. Finally, old 11 time T-Bird right here. This one's pretty beat in. I like it for, you know, understable shots, things that I need to go right, or if I'm in a little bit of trouble, can't get as much power on the shot as I want, I'll pull this one out, I can throw it a little softer, and I'll still get a nice flight, similar to these lighter ones right here. So, my T-Birds. Next, I got a couple of utility discs in here. Let's start with the uh, C-Line PD. Um, this one, I would compare it to a faster Eagle. Um, it's a little more stable than my T-Birds, a little bit faster. It's in right in between my T-Birds and crates. So this guy, you know, for those tweener holes, I like to pull it out. I can throw a little low hyzers, get this disc, disc to hold the hyzer line the whole time. Great amount of glide for a fairway driver. Um, so, C-Line PD. Next, Champion Firebird. Uh, these things are just beasts. They'll fight any wind. Great for sidearms, uh, dumbers, tomahawks. Real good utility disc. I think every Innova player out there probably has a Firebird in the bag, so get one of those. they definitely come in handy. Next, Star Max. Uh, this one will come out if I ever have a sidearm. Star Max is what I go to. It's got a little wider rim, almost similar flight to the Firebird, a little bit, a little bit faster. A little bit more distance. Um, 
Yeah, I like it for sidearms, and then if I'm in trouble, I need to get like a skip shot or a spike hyzer or something like that. The overstability of the max um, is what I go to. All right, next mid ranges. Let's start with the oddball. Champion Mako 3. Uh, this thing is just, it's my understable, fair, uh, my understable mid range. I can put this one out on a hyzer, let it flip up, fly pretty straight, and then just dive to the right. This thing will always come back right for me. And uh, really just the angle I put it on controls how far I want it to go right, or the height that I put it on. Uh, this thing, great for woods. I really enjoy it, and then those long, over the water turnover shots. This is the one I go to. Next, the Rock 3s. Carry four Rock 3s. They're actually all different plastics. Last year they were all Champion Rock 3s, but now with the new plastics, I'm able to experiment with them more, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's start out with the Champion Rock 3s. I carry two of them. I carry between two to four, depending on the courses. But currently, I got two of them right now. Uh, these are these ones I could really put some effort into them and trust that they're not going to turn over. They'll hold a dead straight line with a little bit of finish at the end. And what I like about the Rock 3s is you can throw them in the woods, low ceilings, and they got a little bit more glide than the typical uh, rocks out there. Next, the McPro Rock 3. It's a little bit straighter and understable than the Champion version of it. Uh, this one you don't need as much effort to get it to go as far, but it doesn't doesn't hold those low ceilings as, as well, but it definitely can get more distance out of the McPro Rock 3 if you're looking for a mid with some distance. Um, and it's straight right out of the box, so if you want a straight mid-range, check out the McPro Rock 3. Finally, the newest mid-range in my bag is the G-Star Rock 3. These things are a bit more overstable than the Champion version. I'm still getting used to it, but I really like it on these hyzer shots. I can throw it out there and this thing will just hold a hyzer line the whole way and get the glide that the Rock 3 has in the same speed. So I'm really enjoying this G-Star Rock 3. Um, it's definitely going to add, add some shots to my bag. And finally, my oldest rock that I own, DX Rock. Uh, this thing is just beat, beat, beat. Um, it's probably lost quite a few grams through the years, but this one's just a specialty disc. I use it for rollers. If I'm in trouble and I need something to hyzer, something with, you know, Skyam hyzer or something like that, this is one that I pull out, and this one's saved me some strokes through the years. Finally, the last mid range been in my bag for a while. Champion Gator. Uh, it's just a workhorse, especially in the wind. Hyzer shots, skip shots, this thing. Um, it's definitely an underrated disc. If you want an overstable mid-range, that'll go left for you no matter what, or right, depending on what arm you throw with. This is the one you need to try out. Champion Gator. Now to the putters. The driving putters. Carry two driving putters. First, the Nova. Um, this is has to be the straightest, purest flying putter I've ever thrown. Uh, you can put this one on a hyzer; it'll hold the line that you throw it on. Put on an anhyzer; it'll hold that line. It'll never dump left, turn over, and roll right. If I put on a straight line, flat and straight, this thing will just hold that line until it hits the ground. And then with the softer outside rim, it'll grab right where it hits. So, one of my favorite driving putters out there. If you want to learn better backhand technique, get one of these and once you learn to throw it, your form will increase that much better. The P2, this Mania P2. Uh, this thing's an overstable driving putter. I like it. I can throw it in the wind. If I, would need, if I need a short distance, but I need the putter speed, the putter distance, this is the one I go to. I really like it on the faster, the faster greens. Um, because I know I can trust it, let it hit the ground, and it's not going to skip or slide because of putter bottom. And then that's my putter, driving putter right there. And then finally, 2014 Tour Series McPro AVRs. 
going with the pink to start out the year. Um, I really like the new bright, bright colors that they're coming out with. Um, the firm plastic just allows for a clean release with my putting and the glide that they get, the straight stability that they have. Uh, it just increases, you know, the fun of putting and the accuracy. So, make pro AVRs, check these out, tour fundraisers. And, uh, yeah, that's all the discs that I have. Little treats right here. Pro Shop minis, Go Stamp. You know, I'm excited to use these out there. And finally, thank my sponsors, Innova Champion Discs. You know, supplying me with the best plastic out there, grit bags, keeping my back safe out on the road, and uh, 